Let me tell you a story about a little girl who had some big dreams. She wanted to be an author. So back in 2004, she wrote a story about a little tree in New York City who had a big dream. And his name was Rocky. And I wrote the book, took it to many publishers looking for a place for this little story. And I got the idea from watching Al Roker when he brought the Rockefeller Christmas tree in. So I wrote my little book. Didn't know a thing about writing. And I got a lot of rejection letters. This is my little book. I'm doing the cover over again. It's about a little tree named Rocky. But something happened. Something terrible happened. I sent the book out to Nick Alodian. With my illustrator's permission, I sent the storyboard and the beat board. In 2016, I got a call from my son for me to sit down. Penguin, Random House, Vitacom, Nickelodeon, decided to take my storyboard and my book and create this. Whoops. <laughs> Albert. They took the cover, which is almost with the, with the uh, skyline of the Rockefeller Center in the background. And they took it. You can see I ripped the book up, so I was very upset. But my mom taped it. So this is where my story begins. It was a 2016 to 2018 battle that broke my heart because I had some big dreams about Rocky. And they crushed those dreams by taking my book and creating their own book. It happened and it happened to me. Always, I might get my dreams smashed, but I'm not gonna give up. I'm writing a promotion right now, a free promotion for the Kindle book, and I wanna beat their sales this Christmas. Hopefully I'll have my new cover, my new illustrations, and it goes deeper than that. So I'm gonna tell my story. I hope you'll wanna hear it, and I hope you share this and if you go back to the other posts, I'm promoting it until August. I believe it is from the 27th, 29th, 30, 31st. So do me a favor and do this little tree a favor and go download the free Kindle. Thanks. <laughs>